a header in a high school soccer game, whiplash from a car accident, just a few experience that, experiences, I should say, that can lead to traumatic brain injury or TBI. For years, TBI has been misdiagnosed as something else, and patients are prescribed medications that can make their condition worse. Joining us now to explain is clinical psychologist Dr. Robert Reynolds with Connecticut Educational Services in Middletown. Dr. Reynolds, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me again, Yovan. It's been great. So how prevalent is traumatic brain injury? Well, it's a lot more common than people think, and it happens to people in all walks of life. And because of what's going on in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, it's raised our awareness of these injuries. But they happen to people in everyday events, like car accidents, even on the sporting field. Something sometimes as innocuous as cheerleading, where they're throwing the kids up in the air and coming down without a lot of protective equipment. Well, since this happens to, or could happen to the everyday person, what are the symptoms that we're looking for? Well, first and foremost, there's almost always a profound sense of fatigue, tiredness beyond what most of us would consider to be tired. In addition, they have memory problems, confusion, they, they disorganize, they lose things. They also sometimes have a change in their sexual performance for adults. Mm -hmm. In children, they sometimes have a difficult time concentrating and pay attention to their schoolwork when they usually were good students. Mm -hmm. These are the kind of things that we look at, particularly if these conditions or symptoms persist beyond the first three or four weeks. So let's talk about this medication-free treatment that you provide because you're saying that sometimes medication will just exacerbate the problem? Well, sometimes it does. Oftentimes what happens when a person has a TBI is it's not recognized that that's the issue mm -hmm. and oftentimes they're treated for depression and although they may be depressed it's oftentimes as a result of the TBI mm. but they're put on antidepressants which sometimes can make their symptoms worse so one of the technologies that we use to help these children as, as well as adults is what's called EEG neurofeedback training mm -hmm. and this is a technology that actually allows the brain to heal first we map out the electrical activity that the brain produces to see where the problems are and then we put a person through what we call neurofeedback training which teaches them to retrain their brain so they can once again pay better attention stay more focused get more organized and then you start to see their spirits lift the depression lift they start to do better at work do better at school it's a very exciting technology and also brings about a permanent change and you've seen firsthand how neurofeedback or biofeedback how it really helps people yes and TBI is one of the more common uh, conditions that we treat but we also treat attention deficit disorder and depression all other kinds of issues that sometimes, oftentimes, affect the brain. Okay, and I've tried that before, and it actually does help with concentration and with other things. So, so I would say not minor symptoms, you know, just as far as concentration and ADHD and all that. What's nice about it is that it doesn't really have side effects, and once you've really learned to tune up your brain, then you've got that for the rest of your life. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And you wanted to mention really quick, this month is? Thank you. This is National Traumatic Brain Injury Awareness Month, so this is a very timely story. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks thank for being here. My pleasure. Still to come, men or women, who's better behind?